Science and robotics coming together for quite the spectacle here, especially becoming more popular here in West Michigan. That's right, and today dozens of teams are battling it out in a competition. Our Savannah Fish joins us live from the Jenison Engineering Campus as everyone is getting ready. Good morning. Yeah, that's right. Good morning, you guys. We are getting so close to the competition actually starting. We've been here all morning, so this has been very excited as we've been gearing up for all of this. 30 teams are making their way here today, and one of them who we've been working with all morning, Blackburn, and I have Asher here. They're going through their inspection right now for their robot. So, uh, Asher, what can you tell me about the inspection and how crucial this is for the competition ahead? Well, if you're not inspected, obviously you're not confirmed, and then you can't you compete. Go. And so they're checking for things like size limits because at the start of the round, you need to be within an 18 inch by 18 inch cube. And the moment the round starts, that no longer applies. Okay. However, for inspections, you need to fit in that boundary to ensure that everybody's within the same size, kind of leveling the playing field. Yeah. Also, they want to uh, check for a little bit of professionalism. They don't want any sharp parts okay. or things that could snag or damage other robots okay. because, I mean... They are for fairly safe, but we are working with pretty high-scale batteries, and we don't want those to get stabbed. Now, you guys have been working on this, your team, for how long? Ah? Uh, Just putting the robot together itself. Like I said, this robot specifically came together in about three weeks, but okay. we've been working since about the start of the school year. Right. So now how nerve-wracking is this part? I mean, all of this work leading up to this moment and then ahead of the competition. I mean, the judges uh, and the inspectors are pretty nice, and so it's not like if you fail once, you can't go through it right, again, but right. it is pretty nerve-wracking if there's a large line or things like that. You've put in all this work, and then a big addition you made doesn't even fit within awesome. size, and you need to take it all off. And it looks like there's a handshake. Did they pass? They passed. All right. So we're about to go into the competition. Things kick off in about 20 minutes or so. How are you guys feeling overall? I mean, what's the mindset? A little nervous, but like I said, we try to focus on improvements and always looking for the future. So if we do fail, I'm sure we can do better next time. All right. Good luck, Blackbird. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. All right. Well, like I said, things are going to be kicking off here in about 20 minutes. So exciting to see all these kids come together, middle school and high school levels, all for STEM and robotics. So very interesting to see. And a big congrats to all of these kids and all the hard work that they put into this. But for now, live in Jenison, Savannah Fish, Fox 17 News. Back to you guys.